Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video we're going to go through and look at the privacy settings of Facebook and show you how to change those. Check it out. One quick thing I wanted to mention before we actually go in and show you how to adjust the settings on your Facebook account is if you recall, a few months back we had a company called Cambridge Analytica that went through and took a bunch of user information or personal information off of Facebook. If you had participated in a personal survey that was reportedly at the time used for academic use, roughly around 2014, 87 million users were affected and there's a good chance that your privacy information was actually scraped from that. The positive thing is, is Cambridge Analytica was actually stopped on Facebook. The downfall is there's probably other companies out there that are similar to that doing the exact same thing. So it's a good idea to go in and change the privacy settings. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do now. On another good note, after that whole scandal, of course, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO or owner of Facebook, was forced to go in and actually change the user settings and make some changes to the privacy settings of your Facebook or of the Facebook platform. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up your Facebook any way, shape or form, whether it's through Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, uh, Edge. Either way, what we're going to want to do is get into the account and actually go in and change some of these settings. So what I'm going to do is I had created a test account today, just a dummy account to show you that all of the settings that are under the privacy right now are actually on by default and we can go in and we can show you how to change each one of those. So what we're going to do is once you've got logged into your Facebook account, you're going to want to come up into the top right hand corner area right along the blue bar and you're going to want to click the little left arrow or the little arrow that points down to the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and left click on that. Boom, a menu is going to pop up and come on down and click on left click on settings. Once you've done that, it's actually going to take you to your personal information. You're going to have your username, your contact information. It's going to have your temperature. Basically, these are your general account settings. But if you look on the left hand side, you're going to have security and login, privacy, timeline. You basically have all the different types of settings in your Facebook account right here. Folks, first one that we're going to focus on is privacy. Go ahead and left click on that. And it's going to start with very small. As you start adding apps or pages to the thing, to pages to your Facebook account, these will change and, and things will get added or removed depending on how you go. So we're going to start basic. Your activity, who sees your future posts? Basically, what that means is when you post something, who do you want to have see that? In this case, friends is default. All of these right now are default. This is a brand new account. If you want to change that, you can go ahead and click on edit. And you can change it for public, anybody can view it. Your friends, your friends on Facebook can view it. Uh, friends accept, don't show to some friends, so you can actually left click on that and specify which friends you don't want to be able to see your content. And then friends of friends. So basically, it's just exactly as it says, friends of friends will be able to see your future posts. If you click on more, again, you can have specific friends see it and only me, which makes it just you. So you can go through and you can click on see all and then you can go through and do custom if you know how to do that. We're going to keep it pretty basic for today's demonstration. And you can kind of see right here what it's talking about. So what's on your mind? If you go back to your main page right here, what's on your mind, you can fill that in. So whatever you type in here and click on post, whatever setting that you had just set under your privacy settings is who's going to be able to view that information. So if we go back into settings, come on down back to privacy, and we're going to keep going. Review all your posts and things that you're tagged in. Basically, what can happen is if you have somebody that posts a picture of you, they can do something called tag. What that does is it puts a little box around your uh, your face and they can tag you in that image and it will show up as you're on your newsfeed. Uh, so you can click on use activity log and what that will go through is if you don't approve it, it'll put it in a timeline review and you can go in and you can accept or deny that. So that's just another uh, another part of the privacy settings here. Let's go back into them. The next thing that we want to go over is limit the audience for old posts on your timeline. Uh, so if you just read it here, if you choose to limit your past post, posts on your timeline that you've shared with friends or family and public posts will now be shared only with friends. Anyone tagged in these posts and their friends may also see these posts. If you want to change who can see a specific post, you can go to that post and choose a different audience. So when you do that post, you can actually check there's going to be a little audience button that you can click on and you can change who you want to be able to see that. For default purposes, it will only be with your friends. So that's a good default to have there. The next thing that we're going to go over is who can send you a friend request. Basically, it is default set to everybody. So anybody can search your name in the box right up here and send you a friend request to start connecting. You can go in and change that to friends of friends. So if you only have 
friends of the friends that you may know, they can send you a friend invite and lock it down that way. Uh, who can look up using the email address you provided? You want to probably change that. You don't want people to be able to use your email address unless you specifically want. Again, you can do friends of friends or just friends. You can provide them the email address that you use to create the Facebook account and they can search for your name that way. Uh, going a little bit further here, who can look you up using the phone number that you provided? When you signed up for your account or if you've added a phone number to your account, you can use that phone number to also look your account up. Again, it is default to everyone. They can type in the phone number right up here as opposed to the email and they can find you with that phone number. Probably not a good idea to have everybody be able to access that. I would go down and change it probably down all the way down to friends or you may not even have to or you don't even have to add a phone number to begin with. Uh, next one is, do you want to search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? So basically, if uh, Google comes up and you search a certain name, you can make it to where Facebook will index with Google and if somebody searches that name, it will come up with your Facebook profile. If you do not want that because it is default checked, you can change that to no or, uh, sorry, check on or click on it and then click on the allow search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile and then left click on turn off. What that will do is it will prevent Google or search engines from indexing or using your Facebook account to attach it to search results under your name. Another thing that we're gonna go over today is when you add apps, because Facebook is very popular for different types of instant games. As you can see right in the background here, I have Candy Crush Saga. Now, when you add these games to your profile, what that's going to do is it's gonna ask for certain permissions in order to access your page. You can see right here, I've clicked on add the game. It wants to view my public profile, it wants to view my friends list, and it wants to also be able to view my email address. These are also small bits of privacy or personal information that you may not want the ad to have or the game to have. So what you can do is you can go along and you can uncheck these and it will prevent that specific application for reaching out and grabbing that information. So I've got those unchecked. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue as David here. And what that's going to do is it's gonna give those permissions that I told it to and then it will finally load the game. Now. The thing is, is when you add the game, you'll get that prompt, but what if you've already added the game and you want to go back and change those settings? Perfect, because what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the same settings that we were earlier. So by clicking the arrow, click on settings, we'll let the settings load, and then what we're going to do is we're going to find applications, apps and websites or instant games on the left-hand side here, and what that's going to do is it's going to list which ones that you have. You can see right here, active apps and websites. You can click view and edit. In here, you then can go in and change the app visibility, send you notifications, and you can go in and edit the types of permissions that you want that specific app to have. If you don't want it at all and you're afraid of it, click the little box on it right here and then click on remove, and that'll remove. You can also click delete all posts, photos, videos on Facebook that Candy Crush Saga may have published on your behalf. What that means is as you pass certain levels or stuff like that, you can actually share that as kind of like a little announcement and if you're having like a competition with some friends, you can share that and they can see your progress, et cetera. By checking this little box here, we'll remove those posts and then you can click on remove and it will re remove the post and then it will also remove the application from it itself. That being said, just for a little bit more information, I'm gonna go ahead and post up a link in the description below the video that goes in depth a little bit more on the Cambridge Analytica scandal. And then it also has a quick rundown of some of the refreshments on how to go in and change the privacy settings, just like we did in today's video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip video. If you liked it or you found the video helpful, give it a like, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And if you're interested in seeing those two articles that I had posted or talked about today, those are also linked in the description below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you next time.